Saleh Al-Zarqa works at the Saudi Arabian cultural mission outside Washington. It is his job to make sure all Saudi students arriving here are met at the airport and taken in hand. Uh, we tend to uh, uh, help them uh, throughout all their stay, definitely, and especially uh, the first arrival. They tend to be uh, a little bit in, in the more of, 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 of uh, helping them, even extra help. We will go ahead and, and, and arrange uh, for their domestic transportation and uh, transport back to and from the hotel to the airport. Uh, also, uh, if they're going to a destination where they have uh, a Saudi club uh, area, we will uh, go ahead and contact the, uh, the club managers and, and have them meet and greet uh, at the same time. Five times a week, direct flights from Riyadh or Jeddah arrive at Dulles International Airport outside Washington. After flying 14 and a half hours, students arrive tired but excited to start their studies here in America. After going through passport control and customs, they are met by Saudi cultural officials. Amru al Qurashi remembers when he arrived almost two years ago. It's a really big, big difference between Saudi Arabia and America, but uh, actually the, we have like some orientation before the, we came here, so we have little understanding about what happening around here, but it's really difficult. For uh, the first semester I have him, I have really homesick. Uh, the food is different, the culture is different, everything is different. Like most arriving students, al Qurashi first went for intensive English language lessons, in his case for a year and a half in Los Angeles. His first months were hard, he says, because he missed his family and friends. But the Saudi cultural mission was always there to help. Al Qurashi says he is very glad he came. It's one of my best decisions I have ever made. Uh, I really have a lot of information. I speak English better than I used to be. I, uh, really, the education here is really good. And I learn a lot about not only for education thing, but also from different culture because I met people from around the world, like Japanese, Chinese, anywhere from the world. So it's a good experience, really good experience. There are now about 70,000 Saudi students in America. In most cases, all their expenses are paid for by the King Abdullah Scholarship Program. The majority arrive here in Washington. They are taken to a nearby hotel for their first night. The next day, many go to the Saudi cultural mission, known as SACM, to complete their registration and meet their academic advisors, though those who are rushing to fly to another American city can register online. They don't really have a lot of questions uh, uh, because the uh, Ministry of Higher Education tend to uh, do their part uh, and, and providing them with, uh, with an orientation before they come. And also one of the things we provide them is, uh, is uh, uh, a CD that has uh, basically all the uh, information that they need in the United States. Many universities now have Saudi student clubs, and students typically say that after overcoming the first difficult months, they soon feel at home. Almost every day, Saudi students arrive here at Washington's Dulles International Airport to begin their university studies or specialization. Some arrive with their families, some don't speak English, but all are met by representatives of the Saudi Arabian Cultural Mission, which welcome them and help them every step of the way. Burton Bolag, KSA2, Washington.